Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2. When we left off last time, I think we are getting pretty close to beating the game. Um, I'm thinking for Leon, pretty much after we finish up this uh, west area over here, like, that's it. So, let's head over this way. We've got this storage crate. I think we'll do a big use up all the gunpowders I've got, get ready for a showdown. Ooh, we're going to have to decide what guns to bring. I could try bringing all of them. Do I want to do that? Let's look at our situation here. So, okay. We got a lot of ammo for this. So let's go ahead and do it. Hmm. The spark shot could be... It's so big. Look at that. Claire gets so many weapons. Okay, so maybe I want to bring all the really big dumb ones. Um, let's see. How do we want to do this? Extra hand grenades, that could be cool to have. Do I want that maybe even instead of a combat knife? But then I also want to use... Look at all these herbs. I, I feel like I'm pretty well prepared for the end here. I mean, we could make even two more of these and just fill up our slots with all kinds of healing items. But do we want that or do we want some more, more ammo? for sure. Let's look at it. All right, so what can I make out of these? I can make submachine gun ammo, so I can have so much submachine gun ammo, or I could make a whole bunch of acid rounds. What do we think is going to be more important at the end? It's kind of hard to tell. Um, and I could make handgun ammo, but that's not going to be... That's not this one, is it? I feel like... No, it was the... Okay. I feel almost overwhelmed, right? Limited inventory, but then I have all this crap. All right, let's mix this with... Okay. One of these is going to make me acid rounds. So I could make a whole bunch of acid rounds. That's maybe not a bad idea. Let's do it. All three of them? Although if the acid rounds end up not being so effective here at the end, then it's going to kind of suck. Whatever, let's just do it. Let's just do it. We have a save not too far from here, so... Ooh, and that's as much as those stack. Okay, well. Well. Maybe we don't do more than that. This is kind of a bummer, because I'm, I'm pretty well stocked here, so I'm prepared to go in towards the end just ready to destroy things, but I don't have the inventory space to hold as much stuff as I want. Oh, well. All right, we could do more machine. Yeah, let's do some... Some of this with some of this. We'll take the submachine gun, so. And then we could probably do at least one more with those. So that's a lot of ammo there. And then we could do some... We want the large caliber, because that's way better. But I don't think we can make large caliber out of what we have. I think we can just make standard stuff. All right, what's this give us exactly? Yeah, it's just standard. How much do I even care about that? Oh, 
Okay, and so then if this is, yeah, these are 45 rounds, but this is nine millimeters, so this isn't even for this gun. So this is not useful here. Maybe we'll just leave it like this. All right, and then another healing item, because why not? And then some grenades, a grenade, because that'll be it. Is that extra needle cartridge? I do see it, but I don't want to take up a whole slot just for one. Oh, that's right. I can combine these. Yeah. Oh, but only that much. Okay. Well, I think, all right, we'll head in that way. This seems pretty decent. So everything has got a spot. Excellent. Let's do it. Although I did pack totally full, so if I find something I need to pick up, now I can't. That wasn't best planning. Dang it, and there's probably going to be something in this room to pick up, right? Yeah, this little bit of... Well, it's just a gunpowder. I don't need to pick it up, but it's going to irritate me if I don't pick it up. So just real quick, we're going to drop something off, pick that up, and then swap it back. I know it doesn't matter, but it just, it's one of those little things that's just going to needle me if I don't do it. Okay. Nice and blue. That's what I wanted. There we go. And we're in fine condition, okay. familiar looking setup here. Here's all our gross pieces. Research diary. Embryo growth observations, subject 449. After the G embryo was implanted in the subject, we made a 50 centimeter incision from the chest to the abdomen and began our observations. With the help of the medical team, the subject's consciousness level was kept between 15, lucid, to approximately GCS 10. However, the subject's consciousness, yeah, we read this with Leon, um, consciousness level deteriorated, further observation unnecessary, subject was disposed of. Subject 501 mutated was introduced to other subjects, you know, messed them all up, everything went badly for everybody, and there's mental deterioration that they do not know how to stop. And that's what's happening to poor Sherry. Or he's going to, oh, I gotta pick something up and use it in here. Shoot. God. God damn it. Oh, her, her, yeah. <sighs> Look at that. All right. Well, well. Hell yeah. Got it. But now something bad's gonna happen. Oh, thank God. No? The antiviral agent. Gotta get back to Sherry. We do, but we need to see what's over here first. A 
couple items that I don't actually need, but I'm totally going to pick up. That's what. All right. We will drop this off real quick because then we can easily pick up both of these. Oh, and there's more that I haven't got here. Oh my goodness. They're just loading me down with all kinds of stuff, huh? Oh, we can save. Always good. There it is. Alright, well, we did a whole lot of monkeying around with inventory, so this would be a good time to save. Alright, I feel like it's not going to let us just nice and smooth walk back to Sherry. We'll see. Maybe it does. This is the room that makes me nervous. Oh, there we go. You ladies are getting real close to him, assuming he's going to stay down. She is my creation! William! I should have killed him while I had the chance. I don't know why, I just... I couldn't do it. He I was mean, I, yeah, I can get that. Honestly, we were more married to our work than each other. But what about Sherry? How could you just leave her all alone? Because they cared more about their work. To help. I couldn't let my daughter grow up in a world with the G-Virus in it. But that's no uh, excuse uh, to leave her. Uh, uh, <laughs> She's her mother, but... You don't know what you're up against. I have a pretty damn good idea. Whatever you do, don't stop until it's finished. Trust me. This ends now. Okie doke. So... Oops. Okay, so let's start by... Hang on. William? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dang it, we just need to get one of his eyes. Scooch over this way. There we go.
like I'm using that gun wrong. Okay. Okay, eyes are back. made a poor gun choice there. You know, I totally forgot that I had grenades. Looks like nicely barbecued ribs. <laughs> he almost looks tasty. <laughs> oh, first aid spray. Cool. Excellent. So, I still, it's very, I just, I'm still a little unsure what to think about Annette. I think she probably told the truth when she said that they were more married to their job than they were to each other. And they probably were more concerned with their job than they were about being parents. That really sucks for Sherry. It's pretty crappy to bring a kid into the world if you're going to not really give them the focus that they deserve. But at the same time, I do kind of feel like, I don't know, when when Claire's talking to her and she's saying, you know, how could you leave Sherry? Like, yeah, that's how I feel as a parent. How do you leave your kid? But then at the same time, and I had a point, like, I mean, obviously, if the if you're concerned about, legitimately concerned about the safety of the whole world and, like, what world does my daughter even have to live in with this monster running in it? Yeah, I guess the more important thing is stopping the monster. I probably should have picked those up in the fight. That would have helped. Oh, well. All right. Yeah, and I think we even have the space to pick up that ammo that I don't necessarily care about. I'm going to do it anyhow, just because I can. Where was it? So what's going to be Claire's end run? Because we don't have to worry about Big Stompy coming after us. William Birkin took care of him for us. Thank you, William Birkin. Who? He's not moving. It seems like he's really dead, but there's been multiple times. I don't know. I think if I were Claire, I'd look for a way to, like, just burn this thing entirely or dismember something horrible, but to make absolutely certain that he's dead.
Do I want to go ahead and just use this, considering I have so many healing items in my stash? Back to Sherry. Okay. I was looking for that save point, but no, it's on the other side. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, we'll drop that off. And we'll drop this off. It might not even matter at this point, but that's what we're doing. So, so hopefully, it seems like it... I, mean, I think, I don't know, I think Annette does care about Sherry, at least to some degree, right? She's not the best mom, but I think she does care about the kid in her way. So, hopefully she really did go back and help her out here. And hopefully Sherry is going to be alright. sad story for this kid. Born to geniuses who didn't really pay the attention to her that she deserved. Caught up in all of their nonsense and the destruction they caused. Possibly gonna die over it. Well, again, not die. Turn into a freaking monster. Alright, let's see what we got. Hey! I knew you'd make it. My mom needs help. Is Annette? she? Oh, okay. Sh Sherry. How are you? Okay. But you don't look so good. Oh. Mommy? Hey. Look at the screen. Oh, thank God. So Sherry's gonna be all right? She'll be weak for a little while, but... Yes. She's free of the G-Virus. Did you hear that? Is this kid gonna lose both her parents in one day? What happened to her? She was attacked by the monster. Don't... Don't worry about me. Take my daughter to safety. I'm sorry, Sherry. For everything. Your life is what is important. We can't just leave her here. You're right, we can't. Attention, unauthorized removal of a level four virus detected. What does that mean? It's a self-destruct code. It means we gotta get out of here. In case the G-Virus leaves the building. Please. Save my daughter. No! Sherry. Well. Sherry, we're gonna say goodbye to your mom. Please, Sherry. Listen. She loved you, okay? We really gotta get going. Come on. All the trauma this kid's gonna have to process? My goodness. You were right about this jacket. I'm so lucky to have you. We can talk more about that later. We gotta hurry now. Come on. Oh, I was almost hoping maybe we could try to carry a net out, potentially save her. In a way, this is gonna sound really cold and terrible, but in a way, it's better for the chances of Claire and Sherry's escape if they're not trying to carry, you know, another 
full grown adult because that would slow him down a lot. But sucks a whole lot for Shay. Sherry, can you walk faster? Yeah. Okay, so we need to get out of here. But I don't want to rush you, but we have to go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I meant to do was access. Stop that. This one. There. All right. What do we want to bring with us? We've got plenty of ammo there. Let's get these acid rounds. Oh, that's as combined as they get. So maybe just that much. Okay. Do, 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 do. Sure. Have a backup of those, because why not? Probably a combat knife might actually be good. If we got to just run past a bunch of guys. Whoops. Did not mean to put that away. I meant to combine. Yeah, let's go with that. Alright, let's go, Sherry. Let's get the hell out of here. So what would happen to the kid after this? I would think as the player your hope would be something like, now Claire will be in charge of Sherry. She can raise her like a protective big sister and um, things will work out okay. But yeah. thank you for being so nice to me. For helping me. I'm really glad I met you. This poor kid. I'm really glad I met you too, Sherry. But save your thanks until I get you out of this place. I think like legally speaking though, probably custody would go to somebody who is not Claire. Considering Claire has no relation to her, she's probably not licensed for like foster care or anything like that. There's processes that I think it would have to go through. But I don't think we're supposed to be thinking about that at this point, right? We're supposed to just enjoy the story and not worry too much about practical considerations like that. Alright. Stay close, Sherry. Now is where we gotta just go for it. Oh, it's one of you. Wow. Okay. Nah, I don't care about that. Okay. Where do it? This way. Go down the ladder. I gotta wait for Sherry, huh? Um, there we go. Attention. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Use the central elevator to evacuate. Nine minutes until detonation. Of course. The stupid thing's locked. Hold on. Sherry, what are you? I think I can open it from the other side. Um. Damn it, your time sucks. 
Oh, just a standard guy? Oh, that's not the weapon that I thought I was on. Whatever. Oh, and then there's where Leon came down, right? On the big elevator? Had a girl. Yeah. I think we're almost out of here. Claire, maybe we can use that. Worth a try. What? This? No. Oh, the <laughs> the huge train in front of me. That's what she's talking about. Okay, how are we gonna get on here? There we go. There we go. Okay. Do we need to mess around over here in the control room? Well, what is this? A minigun? I mean, I definitely do want this. Okay. So perhaps there is something on the train that will help us get out of here. All right, big dumb thing, but how am I going to hold it? Am I missing something? All right, fine, fine. Don't want to drop that. I need to drop one more. Th can I come... I think three is as max as those go, right? Alright, that'll do. What are you doing? I gotta get this train moving. I need you to stay right here, okay? Okay. I promise I won't move. Good. Be careful. Always. It does make me nervous that there's that minigun, though, because that means that there's going to be something I'm going to have to attack. Okay, where's my door there? Okay. Alright. Did something. Okay. Alright, it's working. Claire! What? Leon? You're down here too? Yeah. But the whole place is coming down. Look, you need to get out. Fast! I know, I'm working on it. I know. I found a way out. I think... I think we can all make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon? I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Don't worry about me. Just get out of here. Leon. Leon. Damn. All right, let's see what we have to fight with this. Maybe we should get on the train. What was that? What? Why can't you just die? <laughs> right? Six, three, and 
Okay, not great. Oh, we're still fine. Well, not so much now. I should have got a little more distance between me and him. Where did he go? Ah, this guy. Of a slow gun. I feel like they just gave it to me, so it's probably the one I should be using, but. Caution, it's not great. Okay. <laughs> do I need to kill him or do I need to just live long enough? That's the question. Did just stand right in the way of that. Ugh. I'm not convinced. They gave me this gun, so it feels like this gun should be the key. But I feel like I'm not really accomplishing a whole lot with it. So maybe just kite him around a bit. Blew up all his eyes. Well, and then they're back. Okay, try to not get hit by that. And we're out of here. Ooh. But he just gets grosser and grosser. But again, can we really be confident that he's dead? Claire! It's okay. I'm here. We're getting out of here.
So what's the first thing you want to do when we get out of here? I want to see where you live. Good. Because I need to take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> really? That bad? Oh, yeah. Claire! Oh, hey. Leon! It's so good to see you. I told you we'd make it, didn't I? You did. Who's this? This? This is Sherry. Okay. <laughs> Jesus! What was that? I don't know. You stay here with Sherry. I'm gonna go check it out. Is it him again? We're never gonna be done with William Birkin. So this is all out. Maybe we should use this one. Oh, and we even got a save point here too, huh? It tricked me. I thought we were winding up and finishing. All right. Well, we're out of rounds for this, so let's store it. This also means maybe I've been too cavalier using up all my herbs. I doubt we're gonna want that combat knife, but whatever, it's there. And then maybe some more acid rounds. Okay. Yeah, let's see what that does. No, no, no. Um, you gotta stop meeting like this. Where's I don't even see any eyes or anything to target. Hope you like bullets because I got a hell of a lot more. Um, I mean, I'm glad you're feeling confident about this, Claire. I'm kind of not. For fuck's sake, how the hell are you still kicking? Like Chris, like. She loads so slow. Okay, that's what we need to hit right there. Use something else. He's a lot bigger than he was, too. You lose that car. But that doesn't... Okay, I mean, we do have to escape, but that means he's not going to be dead. He's still going to be a problem for the world. She just got all that eye gross all over her. like that? Your 
And poor Sherry there. Yep, that's my dad. You'd like to hope that explosion would kill him, but... I don't know. He survived a whole lot. So, are you guys, like, boyfriend and girlfriend? No. <laughs> We're just... Uh, oh, we actually just met... last night? <laughs> yeah. Would have been one hell of a first date, though. Yeah, you have no idea. Look! He might be able to give us a ride. What if it's not just the city? Get Sherry out of here. Come on. Uh, this guy doesn't look like he's stopping. Was friendly. <laughs> so, is it over? I don't know. But if it's not, we'll stop it. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you're damn right we will. As long as we stick together, we'll be fine. Come on. Hey, you guys can adopt me. <laughs> adopt uh. you? <laughs> we can get a puppy. A uh, puppy. And a parrot. Parrot. Great. I always wanted pets, but my mom said they're too messy. Huh. Next up on this boring Wednesday is a song to get your blood pumping. Well, see, that makes me feel really bad for the kid. Because, again, you'd think, yeah, that would be nice if Claire could adopt her, if Claire wanted to adopt her. But I have a feeling, I don't think... Custody generally works that way. Probably if there's any relatives who would be interested in her first. Um, if not, then I think she maybe she'd be like a ward of the state and she'd be placed like in a foster home. Um, I think I know a little bit about it. My mom did foster care for a while, so I think if Claire wanted to, she could probably um, like there's classes you have to take to be a foster parent, and your home has to be inspected and it has to be approved. So if she wanted to, she could probably go through that process. But I think as she's going through it, I don't know that this state would be able to place Sherry with her. I think they would have to put her in a, a foster, an actual licensed already foster home to start with while Cher went through the pro or while Claire went through the process. So it's just really sad because it means that it, all the terribleness is not done for Sherry yet. There's just gonna be different sorts of upheaval throughout her childhood here. Well and this is assuming even that I don't know, I'm not convinced that this virus isn't gonna be rampant and spread everywhere because I'm William Birkin is a he's a very tenacious kind of monster. Um I would be wouldn't be surprised if he's not actually dead so he's not a problem for our heroes at this point but he's still a problem that's out there in the world although let's think about it um that paperwork we said said about so about the g virus so the t virus can spread we've seen that but the g virus was mostly about it needed to be a a very close dna match to spread so he attempted to spread it to sherry but we healed her so he might remain then the only monster like that. I mean, unless the virus escapes into the, and somehow it infects somebody else, not through him, but through like the what they had back at the lab. But hmm. So maybe he's just like a one-off monster that is very difficult to kill, but can't if he can't spread the disease himself, then that makes it slightly less of a problem than it would otherwise be. Let's see. Ooh, there we go. Oh, I got, I got to see. Hooray! I'm okay with skipping the credits this time because we watched the credits for Leon. There we go. And then they'll be like, probably. Let's hit the button. I think they'll be like unlockable since I. Yep. I said something about. Potentially an extra costume. Let's see that. 
Not that it matters, but... Where would it be? Extra modes. Ah! Costumes. Okay, so I can pick if she has the jacket or just the tank top. This jacket actually makes more sense when Sherry was saying, Oh, your jacket is so warm, because this one has sleeves. Casual, police, or injured. He gets more options than Claire, huh? No, I just want to look at the alternatives. Okay, that looks like that. Anyhow. All right. Well, I do really like that, that playing through as Claire is, is very much a different story. Some of the, the puzzles overlap. That's fine. Um, but yeah, this story, it, it, all kinds of, that was pretty cool. I, I thought it would just be, I just seemed initially it's just going to be the same story, but it's Claire going through it. Or maybe there'd be minor changes being Claire, like dialogue changes or something. But no, there was a whole lot of other stuff going on. That was pretty cool. All right. Well, I think we are done with this game then. I know it does have these extra modes. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure how much I care about this extra kind of stuff. Especially because one of them, fourth survivor mode, fastest times. If this is just like challenges and stuff, then nah, I don't care about that. Yeah, weekly challenge available. No thanks. So I think we are finished with this game. So you can head on back to my channel. There's other games there if you would like to watch those. And keep an eye out for what's to come. I think probably Dreamfall Chapters will go with next. Do for that one.